Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, All About BI. Uh, in last session, we discussed how do we make use of a derived column transformation in order to uh, convert a string to a proper date. In case the string is not in a proper date format or it is bringing some junk values, uh, it was considered to be a null automatically. Okay, so we 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 made use of couple of functions to uh, parse the string as date. Okay, so in this session, I'm going to uh, just continue with that. All right, so we have a source uh, table which is bringing us modified date column, and uh, some of uh, uh, the values are not proper date, so it it has to be treated as null and whichever value is proper date it has to be converted into yymmdd format or mmdd yy format whatever it is okay so the uh, till this we saw in the last session in this session what we have to do is we have to uh, create one more year column uh, from this modified date column okay so how are we going to do that uh, in order to do that uh, if we have any uh, business rules like if uh, this particular uh, year is coming then you treat it as some other year if this particular value is coming then treat it as some other value basically uh, we want to implement some case statement or if statement i'll show you how do we use make use of a case statement to derive year column or year value okay so this is the derived column again derived column transformation is the one that we have to use for implementing any case function or if conditions okay so what i'm doing here is based on the modified date i'm just uh, deriving a case statement in this case statement how it's going to work is it's so simple let me show you so if the modified date is null in my uh, derived column previous derived column then it has to be treated as double nine double nine we are just deriving the value for year so if my source is bringing me a null in date column i have to treat it as double nine double nine and I, my business rule is to uh, check the last two digit of the year okay if it is equal to 06 uh, by default i have to consider it as 2016 if it is equal to 07 then i have to consider it as 2017 similarly if it is 08 the last two characters of my year column so or write this function is going to give me last two characters of the modified date okay so how it works is it will take the modified date it will take the rightmost two uh, elements or two characters okay so if it is going to be a 08 I, ha I have to consider it as 2018 and uh, there should be a default case right for every case statement we'll have uh, if, if if it's case a then this if it's case b then this case c then this by default if uh, uh, the case is not suiting any of the above uh, um, conditions right then it will come to a default section so this is what is default section what we are going to do is it is neither uh, null it is neither bringing 06 07 08 in the last two characters so all the other modified date values we have to just take it as uh, whatever year is coming in that we have to take that okay so how i'm doing that is modified date it is in string format from the previous data uh, derived column transformation so first i have to con convert it into a proper date format and once i convert it into a proper date format i can take the year part of it okay using year function if you want day you can use day function if you want month you can use month function after taking all this i have to con convert it into string because all other uh, elements are of type string in the case statement so we have to uh, convert the default value also to a string okay so if i preview this you can understand it better this is how we write a case statement in a data flow expression okay so this might be helpful for those who want to uh, implement a case based derivation of values right so let us see see here if my uh, date is null i have to treat it as double nine double nine if my modified date is null it ha the year value should bring double nine double nine if it is zero six it has to bring 2016 if it is zero seven it has to bring 2017 and so on this is how this case works okay uh, we can implement the same thing using if statement as well that i can take in the next video okay let us uh, concentrate one by one expression so that's all with me for this video uh, we just understood how do we write a case statement for implementing simple simple logic based on certain conditions okay thanks a lot for watching uh, keep supporting if you have any questions i request you to post it in the comment section thank you so much